Yay! 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 Is it high time? <laughs> no, it's just my connection that's so slow. I heard you say, saying, come on you, come on you. I was typing and it was just like five minutes later. And then you're just like, come on you, come on you. I'm typing. It's all right. You're worth, you're worth the wait, you. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let me just move uh, my phone back a bit. Everyone can see my walk as well. Um, I think we need it. Oh, we're going to go off the table if we're going to that. <laughs> let me just um, angle it. Actually, can you put it? Down maybe a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm just oh, trying to get it down. It. It's hard, isn't it? Because it's take half of your screen away when you. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, because I had it in perfect position. Well, now we've had. Now I've got split screen. Yeah, they can't see my walk. They can see me, but I think they're more interested in seeing. And then somehow I just have to duck. So I, I duck, and then you can actually see yourself in the pan. So you can see your walk. Yeah, you do this all the time on cookpad, don't you? So, so, so I'm just sort of like doing like a little miniature one. <laughs> this is normal. Is that, is that right? Uh, no, we need it all further back. Is there any possibility? Oh. Yeah, so you might have to walk backwards. Back. Do you reckon we can go all the way back there? No, you're not going to see it. Okay, I think, I think that will do, and then I'll just sort of like show people what I'm doing here. So it's your beautiful pen. I can't put the phone any further back because I'm. It's wait, wait, wait. There's, the, there's a way to do this one. The table. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We might have found a way. Daniel, you, why don't you talk through what we should do first? Should we, put, should we soak our noodles, our rice noodles? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna soak our rice noodles first. But okay. our one is more like it's. I quite like this because it's portion for you already. Yeah. So I'll put three of them. How's that? Okay. How's that? Yeah. No, it's not working. Um, so have three of them, yeah. Yeah. I put three, three of them. Okay. Them. I'm just gonna put some boiling hot water on them to soak. Yeah. So that's um quite important to put the um hot water in. So you more or less partly cook your noodles. Okay. There, like that. There we go. Mm -hmm. you just, yeah. The only thing is, you're going to have to bend down a little bit to see if you want to see the what. <laughs> that's, that's my technique, though. I know, like, just bend and, like, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what to stop. Okay, let's just be Yeah, that should be okay. I'm sort of cut off a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, so my rice noodles are soaking. And I haven't done anything with the spring onions. Anyway, you talk me through what am I going to do next? The pad thai sauce? Yes, well, if you, um, well, I have done this to decorate my noodles. This is a really typical um, way to um, decorate our noodles when you're serving, when you go to Thailand, you can see that they they do this. They do like a little sort of like lovely 12 um, oh. spring onions. So basically, if you have cold water, you yeah. can do it now as well. You can chop. Let me just go and get the spring onions. Okay, show us how to do that. That looks really nice. I'll show you how to do it, and then it's so, like, so easy to do. Yeah. So basically, you've got the spring onions here. Just yeah. pick the smallest one you can, you can find, a small one like this. And then you can see my, you see my shopping board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just cut the end bit off. Okay. And then just cut the tip bit off and leave the green bit as well. Okay. And then you can just use your knife, just more or less cut through from the bottom, but don't don't try to cut like you have the little bits out like this. Okay. So finally cut through all of them. Okay. And then Soak it in the cold water for five minutes. Okay, some cold water. Okay. Yeah. And it will curl up. Wow, I love that. That's really clever. All right, I'm going to stick it in uh, maybe a mug of cold water, a bowl, one sec. And that's what we do in um, when you go to the street um, market in Thailand, in Bangkok yeah. or Phuket, you see them decorate. They um, just leave this on the side all the time. And then you have the cold water. It's oh, brilliant. Cold. Okay, that's soaking then in the cold water. So that'll be fine. I've got it. And then we've got two spring onions left, and that's probably going in, in our pack. Yeah. So it's just like a little paintbrush like this. Yeah, I like that. And then you just put it in the cold water okay. for 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I've we make them cut tie. Yeah. In there, perfect. Yui, just for people that might not follow you and don't know who you are, maybe why don't you give a quick introduction? Uh, oh, um, Yui. <laughs> so, Yui, and she's a master chef as well. 
so in master chef 2019 last year so, um, yeah last year so quarter finalist i got through to the quarter finalist and then i went on because um at the same time when i got kicked out um channel four contacted me without realizing i'm already on master chef and then they asked me to go on to the game show called beat the chef i loved you on there you were oh, brilliant on there thank you so you much and um i know and that's how, that's why it's really nice to connect with people that like we've been we've got the same thing in common like being in master chef and i loved your style of food and then we did a couple of charity events together with Curry for Change. So that's how we've got into contact, haven't we? Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then that's just like, it's just um, really lovely to actually be on another show. And I got, uh, I won the prize to beat, um, beat the, against the, um, cook against the Michelin star chef. I know. And I won the prize. So it was really, it's more like um, energy, no, confidence booster. After yeah, I got out, kicked out so early. But I think I it's just like, and then you were so lovely. You asking me to be on the charity event and I went on it was just so honored to actually be cooking the same station as you oh thank you. I love working with you I learned so much and see look it just goes to show again that you don't have to win it doesn't matter you know you've got to quarterfinal but look what you've done so far and you know you've got your own cooking channel you've done so many supper clubs so it's been brilliant but you know what do you know that I know like cook time you have all the time in the world we've got an hour and it cuts off so we've got to be quick that's so yeah get the pad thai going let's get the pad thai going Pad Thai sauce, is that what we're going to do next? Yes, and then next we're going to make the Pad Thai sauce first. So this is the key to make Pad Thai um, really nice and, you know, sticky. Because um, you need to make the Pad Thai sauce beforehand. And then you can make in a big bag as well. Okay. So, so okay. You, can put, you can put, yeah, you can put a... Um, put it in the... Once you make this, you can put it in the jar and then keep it oh. in the fridge. And every time you do pad thai, it will take five minutes to cook oh, pad thai. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically in the saucepan, you add some um, palm sugar. Palm sugar, yeah. I've got the palm sugar here. You said three, three yeah. tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Wow. That's a lot, isn't it? It is a lot, yeah. And if people don't have brown, palm sugar, they can use brown sugar? Yeah, they, you can have brown sugar as well, or if you can't find brown sugar, normal sugar is fine as well, but you won't have that mummy sort of like yeah. smoky flavour, but it doesn't matter if you can't find them, that's, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, yours looks so nice and um, soft, your, your palm sugar, mine always goes a bit hard in here. What yeah, that? that's fine as well, because obviously you put them in the cupboard and then, yes. yeah, and then our weather in Lingland it's dry. Yeah. So I did like break that. it out, but I mean it's Yeah, not... you can just break it out. It's absolutely fine. Yeah. Soft as yours. It depends on how they make it. Because, oh, okay. Um how and where's the um sometimes like I bought them like this, like big paste, so it's quite soft inside. Oh. So when you take it out, it depends on where you get it from, but it's all just doing the same job. Where do you buy yours from? I bought them from um Thai Thai grocery store. Which you wear in London? Yeah, in London. Is oh, in Chinatown they do them as well. In so China. I buy, yeah, I buy it as a bulk and that like, you can keep it forever because I'm doing um, like private dining and stuff as well. So I buy them in like big sort of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I've got three tablespoons of palm sugar in my. Um... Yep. Yeah, oh, you, have, you turned your, have you turned it on? Yeah, and then turn your heat on. Okay. More or less like um, low medium heat. Low medium heat, okay. Yes. Done that. And then um, you add some more of the um, tamarind paste. Okay. So what I have got, I've got two types, like they're all the same, like depends on where you get them from. Some this, some like this, or some darker, like Indian style. I've got like this darker. tamarind concentrate. I mean, this is all I had. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. It's so fine. you might have to put less than the recipe yeah. that I give to you. Yeah. Okay. So how much um, are you putting in of your Thai paste? Uh, sorry, tamarind paste? Yes. Um, so I've put Thai tamarind and about three tablespoons as well. Okay, so I'm going to put one and a half. Yeah, that's fine. And this recipe for typical Thai recipes can, is really adaptable. It depends on how you like it. So you don't have to be exact recipes like you know, yes, yes. Just, just like yeah. Indian, yeah, like Indian food as well. You put in more or less of what you like. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. 
And then what else we need? We need the um, fish sauce. Yeah. Two tablespoons of fish sauce and then one tablespoon of the soy sauce. I'm so oh, sorry. No, one teaspoon of soy sauce, sorry. Okay, repeat that again. Two, two tablespoons of fish sauce. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. Then yes, and then one teaspoon of soy. And one teaspoon of soy. Okay. Yes. Oh, such a nice dark colour. Oh, it smells good already. I can it's, smell it. It smells like Thailand. As soon as, you, as soon as you put some soy sauce and the um, fish sauce in, that lovely smell will like, come through, doesn't it? Anything with fish sauce, it just smells like Thailand. Did you see that I put up that uh, post? Um, I found a vegetarian fish sauce made out of seaweed. I, I've I never tried it. Have you, have you tried it yet? I have tried it. I think I bought one in um, Marks and Spencer. Did they sell it in Waitrose as well? Yes, it was in Waitrose, yeah. Okay. So that's a good alternative for people who are... They're actually not bad, actually. And um, we made the um, fish sauce with the um, shiitake mushrooms as well, which is really nice. Oh, cool. So, um, right, so do we just need that simmer or is that... Done. I've got a really nice syrupy. Yeah, yours are really thick because you use the um, the concentrate and um, tamarind. So you probably don't maybe put a little bit of water in, just a drop of water. Okay. Just to, in, um, just to lose them up and then bring them back to heat. Okay. I'll do that. My noodles look. Um, Oh, my noodles look quite nicely dehydrated. Should I just leave that there? Yep, yeah, and then go and drain your noodles. As drain well. my noodles. Okay. 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 Right. So everyone's drained our noodles so far. Your sauce should be bubbling. Yeah, hard side sauce should be bubbling. And it's, you can see it's really become like syrupy. Yes. And it smells gorgeous already. It does, it does smell so good. Very once it's leave, I would leave about a couple more minutes and then once it's really bubbly, oh, you wow. can turn it off. It's really that, tasty. Already that tastes so nice. And this is the key because um, some people just add all of the sauce into the, the pan when you fry, but that's, that will, the, the flavor will lose all of the flavor when you stir fry it. But if you keep the sauce together, like concentrate the sauce, yes. and then have a quick stir, yes. and you'll get a really lovely flavor into your noodles. Well, do you know what? I've never cooked it off like this, so this is something new for me. I've always made the tamarind, sorry, the pad thai sauce, but just added it, yeah, to the sauce. I've never cooked it off like this so this is really intensifying the flavor isn't it yeah that's right and that's why you have that um pad thai the really nice dark color it's so lovely wow so when you have that bubbly like this turn yes. off, turn the yes. heat off or actually um move your uh, wok or your pan over okay yeah. so shall i shall turn my wok on now yeah you can turn your wok on now and um, do you have tofu as well? Now? I do, yeah. 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 So I bought this kind of tofu. They're quite, I bought it in like um, the, I think this one from Sainsbury, but you can buy it right tofu. It's a best. Carousel. So yeah, they're really hard. Tofu. Really hard and hard. Nice. Yeah, they're really, really nice. So I, I sort of um, cut them into the matchstick size. Yeah. And mine look a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine as well. Yeah. I sometimes sprinkle it with a bit of corn flour and then stir fry it to get that crispy. Do you ever do that? Yeah, that's a really good tip as well. To... Should I do that? Because I've got some corn flour here. Yeah. I'm going to just sprinkle it because I just really like totally crispy on the outside. Yeah, that's a really good idea as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top, guys. Just to... Only if you have it, don't worry if you don't. But yeah, that's an extra tip with tofu because sometimes it can just be soft. Yeah. Is it a really nice sort of crispy protein? That's right. And um, for my tip 
um, you can actually um, roast your tofu for 15 minutes in the oven and then take it out and you fry them and then you have that quite lovely crispiness as well. But I think oh. it's the same just to absorb all the water out, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because that's what it is. I think people find it bland and boring, but if you really start to understand how it behaves, yeah. it's such a good ingredient. Exactly. And it gives so place. much flavour and texture into the yeah. meat as well. Exactly. Okay. Right. right. My wok is hot. Shall I go in hot? Oh, yes. I, haven't yes. my, um, I haven't chopped any spring onions. Do I need to chop my spring onions? Oh, yes. Yes, please. You can chop the spring onions um, like this. Just like a big matchsticks. Big matchsticks. Okay. Yeah. And then the, we have some people asking like, what other vegetables that we can put on as well. So like carrots, anything crunchy, radishes, you can actually have it on the side as well. I might be eating some green beans today because I had some in the fridge. So I'm putting some green beans in. Yes, that would be nice as well so you can leave it on the side or you can put them all together and, and uh, i think it's it's give it a really nice crunchy to the dish even asparagus because it's in season right now asparagus any sort of long sort of crunchy vegetables that are not too watery will work really well no that's right yeah okay so i've got my spring onions done yeah and then um i might need to turn the um the pan down a little bit because we haven't prepped our garlic yet. So I'm going to crush the garlic, Nisha. Okay. About three cloves of garlic. Yeah. So you just crush them. Okay. And just finally chop your garlic. And this is a typical Thai dish as well that you need to fry your garlic first before you um, add your uh, other ingredients in. Okay. So I've crushed it and then you're just chopping it, are you? Yeah, and then just finally slice them. Oh, just slice them, okay. Yeah, just slice them. And like bashing it like that is a good tip because it releases all the oils and you get a more fragrant garlic, right? Yes, that's right. You just batch them like, yeah. it's good when you um, get angry with someone or someone just jumping on the queue when you go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's done. Okay, and then pan on and add some oil, about one tablespoon of the cooking oil. Okay. Yeah, and then we're going to um, crispy fry your tofu. Okay. And then um, with the um, prawn first, yeah. Oh, pra sorry, prawn first or tofu first? Tofu first, sorry, because we're going to do the tofu. Tofu yes. first. So we're okay. going to tofu first. So once you um, get your tofu frying nice and crispy, you can take the tofu out. Let me just throw it down. Hello, Jasmine. Oh, it's got lovely people watching us. Oh, have you got the smoked one? The smoked one's nice. What was it, Nisha? I can't hear. I know, it's a bit loud. <laughs> okay, I can tell from the colour, it's always the smoked one. It looks nice. Yeah, mine one is smoked one because I can't find a normal one. I prefer a normal one, but I only can manage to get the um, the smoked one. So the colour's a bit more yellow. But I'm so sorry, it's a bit loud. I can't hear you very well. Yeah. I think you're just doing the same as us. Yeah, I'm just going off the tofu. And it's making it nice and crispy and brown. Yeah, it's getting a nice colour now. It does need quite a high heat. Yeah, it is quite, it has to be quite hot so you can um, cook your tofu. So, Yui, how have you been coping in lockdown? Yeah, no, that's not... It's actually, I have been really busy actually cooking every day. Um, so I've been cooking with um, a lot of cooked pad and um, a lot of the um, campaign. I've got the um, sensory um, cake campaign coming up as well. So yeah. I am um, creating the recipes for the sensory and um, yeah, and, and different kind of brand as well, which is really good. Oh, you can hear me. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't catch that last bit. What did you say? Oh, I said I've got um, loads of the um, campaign paid brand um, promotion as well that they've been bombarded me. And I cook with, um, I've got the um, paid campaign with Sainsbury's as well. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, that was amazing. So uh, that's coming next week. I'm creating content for them. Um, yeah, so oh. I do good. So say you've done something with Sainsbury's before. You yes. create another recipe for them, is that right? Yes, that's right. And um, I'm part of the Sainsbury Tastemakers. Um, um, yeah, and uh, I get to, um, oops, sorry, I get to taste their products and they send us some products and get to create recipes for them, which is really oh, lovely. brilliant. Well done. Oh, thank you. Are, you, are we just leaving the paper in here or do you want to take it out? Yep, we take it out now, Nisha. Okay. Oh, when we do sizzling stuff, it's so loud. It's like we can't hear each other. Yeah, I know. I didn't quite take that into consideration how loud it is. That's why I didn't put my fan on. <laughs> no, that's fine. And then I'm going to I turn the like that, guys. Yeah, I think your tofu is lovely now. You can take it out. You're taking it out? Yeah, I'll take it out. Oh, oh is that okay. Aussie girl say so you've been busy cooking for NHS? Yeah, I'll do that as well. Yeah, try and answer any questions. I'm so far from my phone, I can't see it. I can't see any questions. So if you don't mind, you're really having a look and shout out what the questions are. No, I can't. I think you said her tip was roast the tofu in the oven, give it a crispy outside. Yeah, that's right. You can do that as well. Or you can do like Nisha do. Um, put a little bit of corn flour in and then fry. So that's a good tip. Okay, I'm going in garlic, right? Garlic yeah. first? Then you add your garlic in, Nisha, and yeah. then um, once your garlic become, it will take a second. Once your garlic become nice and golden, crisp, like yellowish, yeah. You add your prawns in. Okay. Prawns going in. Yeah. And have it medium heat. Okay. Okay. Let's go put the garlic in the prawns now. And then at this point because I don't want my prawns to get like chewy. So once you cook your prawns, take the prawns out first and then we're gonna put the prawns back in after we cook the noodles. Oh, good, good point, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, you don't wanna cook prawns too long. No, that's right. So it's cooking really nicely. And then I'm going back to check my sauce. It, see the sauce, when the sauce cooled down, it becomes thickened. So, oh my god, yeah, mine is really sticky, yeah. Yeah, it's really sticky, doesn't it? It's really concentrating. Yeah. Really sticky. Oh, it looks so glossy. The colour is lovely. Oh, yum. I love prawns, though. It's really lovely. I'm so excited about this. I'm, I'm going to eat this straight away. Tofu is sticking in the pan. So maybe when before you um, fry your tofu, maybe your pan's not hot enough. So just um, have to leave it for a minute. Um, let the tofu just become off the pan itself. Otherwise, if you keep, if you keep moving them, it keeps sticking. From where the prawns are in on you, how are you all doing? How is your prawn cooking? Mine are, yeah. mine are pretty much done. Look, okay, yeah, take them out then. Yeah. Well, yeah. People asking um, where you get your ingredients while well, you're locked down. There's so many places are doing ingredients, don't they? I, oh. I found it really, you can get it more or less quite easy. Yeah, I think everywhere, Sainsbury's, um, Tesco's, all, all the major supermarkets. I mean, for some specialist stuff, you'd have to go to a waitress, but everything we're doing here today, you can find it in any supermarket. Yeah, that's right. Right, just give me a couple more minutes because um, my hot's a bit, the small no, I'm going to eat and have a prawn. Mmm, it... mm, they look really nice. You know, just freshly cooked prawns are so good. It is, isn't it? It's really nice. It's so juicy. Right, give me a minute. My, my hot's are slow. <laughs> oh, I'm winning, Yumi. I'm, I'm so proud. Well, uh, I mean, you, you know what? what? <laughs> It's because I've got this wok burner, this big wok burner, so it's really high flame. Yes. And this wok that I've been given by the Hawks, and I've been using it a lot, this pink wok, is really conducting heat well. I'm it's jealous. Good. It's beautiful. It's Isn't really it amazing. Wok. Yeah. 
And it comes with a lid as well, so if you are going to make like curries and stuff, you can cover it with, you know, things splattering, you cover it, I love it. Shall I go in with my, um, shall I wait for you, I think? My sister, she's selling um, signs of prawns. She's pregnant at the moment, so I don't know whether she's eating prawns, so that might be quite cruel. <laughs> Right, okay. I think she's, due, she's so massive. She's due in uh, about two, three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, my sister. She's huge. Look, so she's watching. She's, she's going to be cooking along, but she said probably not live. Oh, um, bless you can, use, um, you can use chicken instead of prawns if you're not um, keen on prawns. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, oh, so how, ma how many weeks is she until she do? She said that, oh, she's due in three weeks. She said oh. she can't eat corn, so she has been eating it. She's going to put it in. Oh. Is it well cooked? Is it well done? You can eat it. Yeah, okay, right now. So back to your wok. Um, add yep. a tiny bit of cooking oil in. Okay. And then at this point, your heat needs to be quite a medium heat. Hi. Yes. I've got medium heat. Yeah. And then um, you just add your noodles in. Oh, noodles first? Oh, yeah, wow. noodles. Okay. I thought we were going to go in. Okay. That, I'm surprised by that. The noodles in. Yeah, and the noodles in. And we can cut the sizzling down. See, I would have never thought you were going to put noodles in first. It's like an annoying oil in. Yeah, because you've got to put the noodles. Okay, guys, the noodles in first. Wow. Okay. But not the pan. I would have put it in like the spring onion, then put this in first. So that's a, a good no. tip. Hi, people, do reverse. It's so different, isn't it, from Chinese cooking? You've got different process, different steps. Because yeah. in a Chinese cookery, you cook all the vegetables first and then. Add. Oh, my green beans. Should I have added them? They'll be all right later, won't it? Yeah, beans that go last. So you need to just cook your noodles like um, until it's become sort of golden yellow again. Oh really? Well, not quite ish. Let me just go down a little bit because um, my Maybe other my other wok is not not have the heat enough. Okay, so we just like sort of stir frying the noodles almost. So once you go, you see that yellow sort of noodles cook. Got a really lovely, crispy sort of, um, you know, yeah, on here. I can see that it's like all the moisture is it's going, so they've got to come dry, which is good. Yeah, that's right. So, this is the key that you've got to cook your noodles first, otherwise, your noodles gone soggy. I'm putting kind of oil, otherwise, they go soggy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, great tip, Yui. So, once it's got that little, that, like, really nice color on, on your noodles here, yeah, see the color? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I wonder if is there anyone cooking at home with us? Put your hands up if you are. Well, maybe don't, because that might be dangerous if you're like going over a walk. No, don't. Yeah. <laughs> we can see all the pictures later when they tag us. I hear no way for me to. <laughs> you can it now. Oh, no, you're still doing the noodles. Okay, me too. Right, now, Amita, you can put your sauce in now. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Add your sauce in. Maybe just. Um, a couple of the tablespoons first of all. Okay, a couple of tablespoons of hot curry sauce going in. Yui, I'm so excited about this. Honestly, I can't tell you. Because I just know it's going to taste so good and authentic. And then you see that noodle will soak up all the sauce straight away. Yes, yeah. yes, it has. And then leave them there. And then you can just add a tiny bit of the spring onions. Yep. And I've got a little bit of the um, carrot. It's not traditionally put carrots in, but I put the tiny bit. I'm going to put my green beans in there as well because I have them, so they start cooking off. And then just a little bit of crushed um, peanuts or crushed cashews. Yep. I've got some peanuts here. And then the peanuts. Oh, wow. This is looking good. Oh, look at my. Oh my god, I have to show you this. I'm excited by this. Look at my pearls! <laughs> I look really good. My little yeah. flower! <laughs> Brilliant! Beautiful! Alright, so I'm just stir frying the sauce. 
with the green beans, I've got green, you don't need to, just the spring onions. Do you have any other vegetables? What did you put in? Did you put some carrots in there? I put a little bit of shredded carrots. Okay, so you can put any vegetable, but even if you don't have the vegetables, don't worry, I know that the but um, it doesn't, it doesn't have to. I'll, I'll just put in just like, you know, to show that you can put carrots in as well. Yeah. Okay. And then at this point, you can actually add half of the tofu in because you want to top up your tofu when you're dishing your dish. Oh, you're adding a little bit of your tofu now? Yeah. Add half of your tofu in. All of it or just some of it? Just half, my lovely. Just half, did you say? Yes. Okay. Okay, half of my tofu is going in. Yeah. And then you make a little hole, or right, right around the corner here. Yeah. And then just add a tiny bit of oil, maybe a teaspoon. Because oh, I know put eggs in. in. Yeah. Making a hole in the middle. Yeah, and then just add your eggs in. Oh, you just cracked it in. Okay, guys, look, a hole, I'm making a little hole like that. And a little bit of oil. And then cracking an egg in. And then what, you're scrambling it, are you? And then just have a little, sort of, break the eggs a little bit and leave it there. So, um... Can I see yours? Can I see it a bit? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then you just, you scrambled it in there. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's right. Okay, just scramble it in there, guys. So obviously, for two people, you can put two eggs in. Did you put two? Well, I put one first to see, but um, how many cooks are you going to cook for? I'm putting one in. Okay, yeah. Because you were saying, you were mentioning we were going to do something special with another egg. You still doing that? So once you have your 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 eggs half cooked, turn them over like this. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna mix it with the noodles. Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of scrambled mine. I don't really have an omelet or anything as such, but um okay so I'm just gonna Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's it. Mix lovely. it all together. Yeah. And then you can add more eggs if you want to. If you okay. are like really eggy, you can add some more eggs. But I think one should be enough. Yeah, one's enough for me. I don't want to take too much egg. And then I would taste it and then I would add some more sauce in. Okay. Oh, add a little bit more sauce in as well. Yeah. Needs a bit more. What about salt, Yui? I mean, I love salt, so like, do you feel like it needs any salt? I'm putting in the sauce. I might put all of it in, you know. Do you think I should? Yeah, you can put all of it in. But that's enough for two people anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does need it. So I'm going to put all of the sauce in. All of my sticky, sticky. Yeah. Wow, is that treacle? It does, doesn't it? It's so sticky, it's like treacle, yeah. And then at this point, because my recipe doesn't have a lot of salt in, so um, that's the point of my putting the recipes on. You can actually add some more fish sauce in after. Ah, uh, yeah, I might, I might do, because I love, I love fish sauce. I'm going to put a tiny bit in. So you just add, and... Um, the technique well, is uh, when you add your fish sauce, if you add it all around your pan rather than in the middle, it yes. will smoke in, it will smoke up your um, fish sauce and have that smokiness. Oh, that's such a good idea. I wish I waited for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> next one. <laughs> next one. Next. I like that. That's a really good tip. Yuri, what's your colour like? Mine's quite dark, but maybe that's because of the... It is because your tamarind's dark. Mine's yes. quite it's okay. It's, it's not as dark as yours, but um, because I use um tamarind, um, tamarind paste, colors, yeah, like the paste, yeah. The way to so, go. But it's still a nice color. It is, yeah. It looks like at like like this point. Taste it again till you like the flavor. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh yeah. 
I really like it now. It's got that. Mmm. It's so yummy. It's really nice. But it's important to add your sauce in first, have your sauce in just to caramelize your noodles and then you add the rest of the sauce in and let's give it like a little punch of your noodles straight away. So yes. you have the um um a lemon or lime. Yes, I do. Yeah. Just squeeze them up. Okay. okay. Oh look at that smell in the sound. So nice. And then at this point, you add your bean sprouts in. Ah, just, okay. Just a handful of bean sprouts. A handful, okay. Yeah. Handful of bean sprouts going in. And that's it, turn the heat off. You don't need to cook the bean sprout for too long. Did you put your prawns in already? My prawns are still on, on the side. Oh yeah, I forgot to put prawns in. <laughs> I love it. My prawn's still here. Yeah, you, you're a joker. Okay, I'm putting all my prawns and all the rest of my tofu in now. Yeah. I might just keep mine in here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then put oh, the rest of the tofu in. Look. So no good. Okay. <laughs> I think I've dirty a lot. My noodles have, like, broken up a lot. But that's okay, isn't it? They're meant to be kind of broken. They're not meant to be... Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but maybe we sold our noodles a little bit too long because we talked too much. Okay, <laughs> so maybe soak it for a bit less. Maybe, like, five minutes or so. Yeah. I've, uh, I think I've got more garnish. I think that's the garnish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. my God. Are we nearly done? I can't believe we're nearly done. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. Oh. It's done. And now, um, oh I said to you earlier as well, Nisha, um, we, um, we normally um, decorate some of people decorate it by um, you, um, using the eggs. So you more or less just um, pan fry or doing the really thin omelette like this. Wow. Use no more egg and then have a little pinch of salt and pepper and then you just roll them. Yeah. Um, oh, you're going to make those ribbons. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Like you, did, you did one before with noodles, haven't you? You use eggs for noodles or some, some of your recipes. Yeah. <laughs> So you can just um, finally slice them as the um, egg ribbon and then you can garnish it on the top as well. Oh, I love that. Should we plate up then? Should I start plating up? Yes, please. Okay. So, but what we have in our very typical Thai, we have um, the fresh vegetables on the side as well. So you can... Um, so this. I would like to see how you're going to plate it up as well. Like what you're going to put on top. I know there's all these special things you can put. You can add, um, well, I don't know, when you have it um, in Thailand, we normally add some chilies and sugar and um, some kind of peanuts on the side. So you mix it all up on top of it. Oh, well. wow. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. So shall I put it yeah. on the side? Let's do that, yeah. And a little wedge of lime. Yes, that's right, yeah. I've still got some of these spring onions left. Shall I just... Yeah, that's it, go for it. Put these spring onions in. So and my little flower. They're really pretty, aren't they? Really pretty. Look at that, little flower. And, and then I'll put... I'll we show you the, um, the bean sprout on the sides as well. So, oh, so a few more like raw bean sprouts on the sprout. Yeah, oh, raw one. That. Oh, yum. You know what? This is a really nice, fresh. This is exactly the kind of food, you know, for this weather. It, it feels is, really yeah. fresh and like a salad. It's a noodle dish, but it's like a salad. And then, and what we, we, and what we, oh, peanuts, peanuts. Where should I put yes, peanuts. peanuts. And what we do, we put like chilies and put a little bit of sugar on the side. Oh, really? So just a little bit of sugar on the side? Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit of sugar. Really? You Thais really do have a sweet tooth, don't you? We do, yeah. We, we eat um, quite um, a lot. Of, well, I think we just wanted to have some of all of the Thai flavours, like sweet, I'm... sour, and yeah. because of the... Um, we eat a lot of chilli, so we just add a little bit of sugar in just to balance it out. Is white sugar okay, or do you think brown? White sugar's fine as well. White sugar? Yes. Okay, so I'm just putting some white sugar on the side, and this is just our seasoning thing. So when you mix it all together, you get that kick. And yeah, that's right. 
and then some chili flakes. So you just use chili flakes or like real chili? Are you using chili flakes or are you using um chili flakes? Chili flakes on the side, yeah. And just yes. Flakes. So it's more like this. So we have like um peanut sugar, chili flakes, and the lime. Oh, and then look at that, Dewey. That is beautiful. Look, can everyone see? And um, some of the regions, like my where my mum come from, their pad thai is got a signature by finely sliced raw mango. So oh. you can use the um, a Granny Smith, um, Granny Smith um, apples instead. You can finely slice them and then sprinkle them on the top. So that great give that soundness yeah. to the fish as well and punch oh, I love that. Do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do that thing they do on TV when they taste it and you're sitting at home, you're so jealous and I hope you can have it. So. I'm yes. trying to get that chance to try it. <laughs> Let me taste it as well. Mmm. Mm. That is so that good. Is it. It's really good. It's so fresh. It's perfect. This is a really nice... Like, I'm going to have it with my curry as well. I'll have a little bit now, but... I love like making a whole plate with some of this, a bit of the curry, rice, everything. Yeah. I don't think it's going to last all that long. I think I'm going to finish it all now. <laughs> Mm. But it's so fresh and it's so easy to make. And you can make this sauce beforehand and make a big batch of it. Yeah, exactly. It's taken no, us that. 10 minutes to cook, doesn't it? It didn't take long at all. I'm going to mix all the stuff that we put on the side as well. So guys, make this. It's really lovely. It's really authentic. I really do feel like I've just got, you know, been to a Thai restaurant or something. It's so, it's so yummy. I'm going to go and share it with the boys and Sachin and everyone. We're going to go and sit outside. Oh, that's good. Does your boys like so, spicy food? Yeah, um, yeah. The, you know, the eight-year-old's just getting into spicy food. He's starting to like it a little bit more, but um, the little one, not so much. But he'll love that. He'll just be licking the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my son, yeah. He's 18 now, but still not quite keen on the spicy food. So every time oh. I cook, I cook the really spicy stuff for me, and then I just have to reduce the, the, the heat for my son and my husband. <laughs> he's got a really interesting mix, because you're married to an English 